It has been widely reported in Egyptian media that one of the leaders in the attack against the Benghazi consulate on September 11, 2012, was Mohsen Alazazi. According to Ahmed Moussa, a former high-ranking intelligence official with the Egyptian government, and several other sources, Al-Azazi's passport was found in the house of Kairat al shatir the number two man in the Muslim Brotherhood hierarchy, now under house arrest in Egypt by the Egyptian military. But according to an ongoing Egyptian investigation by Egypt's Supreme State Security Prosecution, Muslim Brotherhood Second in Command, Kairat al shatir was just tangentially involved in the attack on the Benghazi consulate. The actual mastermind of the attack was a man by the name of Tarek Taha Abu Alazam, now in the custody of the Egyptian military. In what is reminiscent of the attack on the World Trade Center towers and Pentagon on 9-11, where some of the hijackers reportedly received flight training on U.S. military installations, Per Egyptian investigators, Al Azam, the mastermind of the attack on the Benghazi consulate, took military courses at a U.S. Air Force base. Per Muslim Brotherhood researcher Valid Shubat, citing multiple Arabic news sources, Al Azam is a seasoned jet fighter pilot, a former major in the Egyptian Air Force. Per Shubat, translating from a pro jihadi website, The Arabian Sword, quote, al Azam is a former major in the Egyptian Armed Forces, who graduated from high school and joined the military academy, graduating as an officer of the Armed Forces Officers. al Azam traveled to the United States for military courses until he reached the rank of captain and was put in charge of an airbase for the Egyptian Armed Forces. Per Walid Shubat, former Egyptian president Hosni Mubarak had jailed al Azam for terrorist activities, but when Obama-backed Muslim Brotherhood President Mohamed Morsi ascended to the presidency, al Azam was immediately released. But this is just the beginning of a blockbuster story. A Libyan intelligence document dated September 15, 2012, named six Egyptians from the terrorist group Ansar al-Sharia based in Egypt as being behind the attack on the Benghazi consulate. That then-Egyptian Muslim Brotherhood President Mohamed Morsi is named as a co-conspirator. Per Valid Shubat's translation of the Libyan intelligence document, Quote, the most distinguished names that were obtained from the confessions by members of the cell is the person, the president of Egypt, Mohamed Morsi. Along with Morsi, the Libyan intelligence document goes on to name five other co-conspirators, all members of the Muslim Brotherhood. This is the same Mohamed Morsi who Barack Hussein Obama was fawning over and sent hundreds of millions of dollars to in foreign aid. The same Mohamed Morsi that Obama is still supporting. But it gets worse, much worse. According to Arabic news channel TV14 and reported on by Egypt Daily News, Obama sent an $8 billion secret bribe to the Muslim Brotherhood to guarantee that the Egyptian Sinai Peninsula be turned over to the terrorist group Hamas. Hamas, a Muslim Brotherhood sister group, works directly with Ansar al-Sharia in the Sinai Peninsula. Channel TV14 goes on to say that the agreement was signed by Mohamed Morsi and the Muslim Brotherhood's second-in-command, Kairat al shatir now under house arrest in Egypt. And what does Kairat al shatir have to say? He's singing like a canary and says he has documents that will put Obama away for a very long time. As reported by at least six Arabic news sources, as translated by Valid Shubat, quote, in an interview with the Anatolian news agency, Sayyad al shatir the son of a Muslim Brotherhood leader, the detained Kairat al shatir said that his father had in his hand evidence that would land the head of the United States of America, President Obama, in prison. But there's more. The $8 billion that Obama sent to the Muslim Brotherhood was shared with Ansar al-Sharia, the group that attacked our consulate and CIA annex in Benghazi on September 11, 2012. That means Barack Hussein Obama, in essence, funded the attack on the Benghazi consulate. Funding terrorists? The mastermind of the attack on the Benghazi consulate trained in the United States? Obama secretly sending billions of dollars to the Muslim Brotherhood? Who exactly is Barack Hussein Obama? And who is he working for? <laughs>